Okay, well, we've got some more migrants on our hands now. They came in on the far side of the brook, if you see the blinky dude off to the left. It is currently the 14th of Stan Sandstone. I keep saying Stanstone. Mid-autumn, and this migrant wave bumps us up to 86. I hope we all know what that means. I had a series of births, which ended up getting me to a population of 80 before the migrants hit. So now there's no doubt about it. Um, for those of you who don't know, just just wait. Everyone's still drinking from the brook, even though I have a bunch of drinks, 87 drinks that are logged. But I've been off-screening a lot. Probably about this last hour or two hours, I've been off-screening. I'm trying to clean up these ramps here. Because I have some plans for constructions I'm going to need to level out part of this area with. Just channel all this way. But I've got some expansion plans going on in the vault. Um, smoothing out everything. The hospital is finally empty. A lot of people are okay now. Um, several of them just had to get rotten flesh pulled off. Or cut off. You don't want to pull off rotten flesh. And especially Grimmith. Grimmith is up and running around now. I forgot that he is still on station. I didn't do that right, did I? X doesn't do it. Is it O? No, it's not. Where is it? Hello. Where are you? Cancel station is O. Okay, so I set up a stockpile here. I can't remember what the middle one was. Finished goods, so that's never going to get filled up. What's that? We have some bi bismuth bronze ore. But I wanted to get all the bars up here. All of them. Coke, charcoal, coke. More charcoal. Tin. I didn't know we had tin. Ash, ash, more ash. Coke, charcoal. And over here I have a, a soap stockpile. Because I've been seeing random pieces of soap lying around and I didn't want it. Because they'd run over there and try to pick it up and then they couldn't clean themselves. I might have to put it by some water. Oh! How much water do I have here? Oh good, it's starting to refill up. Might flood my farm again sometime. So, oh yeah, there's some more stuff. I've got an expansion of the workshops coming up. Gotta dig all this out, and it takes us to this area, which is the stockpile area that I'm gonna have. I'm tired of just having all this clutter here. I've never had a fortress this cluttered before. I don't like how everything's just in an open room. I want them all to have their own little rooms. It was good for emergency purposes, but we're not really threatened right now, technically. Um, and I want to get it all cleaned up. I want them to all move in the regular stations. And I also want to have the stockpiles underneath them so they can run out and grab what they need. Several different size stockpiles for important and unimportant stuff. An ammo stockpile over here that is completely useless. It's just got a bunch of random bullets that I found laying around outside. But the military's back to training. Everyone's fine. I only had to replace one of them. I think one of the NPCs died. And died of infection. Bunker's still... I can still get people up and out of it, so that's nice too. I built another room for my lead scientist, Borco. Gray Fox, I still need to get you all your stuff. I expanded it, I smoothed it down, I'm going to engrave the walls, and if this doesn't work, then I'm going to kill him. I swear to God, I will kill him, or expand the room one or the other, whichever one's easier. I might have some spears on hand, but I want all my nobles to be happy. I want to be able to use my lead scientist to train animals, and I was looking through, and I saw the lead scientist wants a tomb, a burial chamber, so I think he is the equivalent of a dungeon master, which means I need to start capturing animals now. I really want to have, like, war red roaches, stuff like that. And I also have an addition to the bedrooms. Now, these red things you see here are floor hatches, because I found out that the hallway, since it's three wide, is enough to put rooms in. So the rooms now hold 25 instead of the standard 20, so we can now house 85 people, which I just finished up when I had 80, and then the six migrants to 86, just, they just had to come in and flip me the bird. So, one of them's going to go without a room for a long time. I actually don't want to have more rooms in this, because, well, actually, 
I might make some. I'm adjusting position in my chair here, because I'm thin and lanky and stringy and tall. It's not fun sitting in a small chair. And I'm trying to get the food stockpile all dumped out. I thought I had this. I don't like the color in here. I'm going to need to <laughs> need to do something about that. I can't remember if you can paint walls or not. Might be able to dig them out and replace them, but then that'd give me vision of the walls behind these, which just I don't want. I'm trying to clean up all of the random stones around the fort too, and some of the more populated areas first. Hospital I've already gotten all cleaned out. What's wrong with you, Mr. Raider? Oh yeah, yeah. Mr. Raider has a broken foot and broken ankle infection. And he needs a mobilization setting and a what's it called? A dressing. I looked at that about an hour ago, how I remember that is beyond me. But I'm gonna let the fortress run now. I really want some war animals. War animals other than iguanas. While the iguanas are handy and they can tear limbs off of people, slash sarcasm, I want some of the native wildlife that's been run through here. A lot of dead things. A lot of dead iguanas. I've had these big horners and wild eyebots. I want to capture and train the eyebots, but my hunters keep getting close to it and shooting at it so it runs away. What are you, Warthog Piglet? Oh, yes, yeah, someone also brought a Warthog, and one of the babies he brought along grew up. I hope that's a turtle. Hey! So now I've got a family of Warthogs that are running around. Is this metal? Oh, good. I need more metal. I've been trying to get the smithing operations back in action. Got plenty of stuff being smelted. I changed this stockpile right here to have everything, all the metal ores, except for lead. Because inglestite slash lead, I, I can't use it. I can't use it for anything good. And I need to spend my fuel on iron. So, I need to get that all straightened out. Probably dump that all and reclaim it. Speaking of which, oh, I didn't reclaim that, did I? These stones need to go. I would like to have more rangers and or a ranger training room, so I need to work on that. Where's my barracks? Should be up here. There we go. I get lost easily. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set up a archery target or two. So Grimmoth can start shooting all these bolts away. Bolts. series of these. I don't want to pick them up either. I've got plenty of lead to make bullets with, so I don't need to reclaim any of the random ones. Otherwise, I would dig out all of this back wall, channel it out, and then have a tunnel coming underneath, but I'm not going to bother. As long as I have fuel, I have bullets right now, because the bedroom, the most recent bedroom level kind of hit a lot of lead. No, not this one. Which one was it? I guess it was this one. Yeah, there's lead in the walls, there's lead in the floor. It's everywhere. Go ahead, look the wall, I dare ya. Cycling through my hotkeys because I can't remember anything. It's much more complicated than StarCraft 2, I tell you. Uh, shoot from up to down, please. Do that with all these. I don't know the range, I'm just using that one guy there as a reference. Hopefully Grimith will be able to... Oh, I didn't do that right. Hopefully Grimith will be able to get really high level of shooting before what happens gets here. I want him to be able to one-shot pretty much everything from a long distance and never miss. So Grimith, where are you? What? Why are you swordsman? You have your assault rifle. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. You're running combat drill. I did an arena test, and I think the assault rifles are like a spear gun, if you think of it that way. Since it has the bayonet slash knife at the end of it, you can use it as a spear. I think that's the skill it was increasing. I didn't delve too deep into it. As much as I wanted to. Other things popped up, and I had to stop. Castorite is an ore of ten. I can use 10 for crafts, so I might smell a bunch of that. 
Grimth, start shooting. That's Master Chief. Where'd he go? Probably get some ammo. Hopefully. Is someone rotting? No, it's ground beet. Someone just ate a beet in the military room and spat the seeds out all over the floor. I'm trying to create a Mario Kart style hazard. I need to start setting up cage traps everywhere in the wilderness, but I need more cages for that. I also have my craft dwarfs workshops. Wow, craft dwarf work. Blah, I'm not even going to bother trying it again. I'm having them decorate everything that they can lay their hands on with shell, which turns out to be a bunch of bullets. So, yeah. Hot keys. There we go. This is a bit annoying, though. It's all coke and charcoal. I was hoping for metal, but I guess it's been... Holy armadillo. Look at them all. I guess it's better for the metal to be down in the smelting room so they don't have to run very far. And holy crap, 11 minutes and 7 seconds of me talking. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and off-screen a bit. And... Or not, what just happened. Mood? Yes. Fun guy has been taken by a mood. He's been possessed. Okay, fun guy, go do your thing. You had to flip me off too, didn't you? Wait, what is he? He looks like a mason, so I'm going to guess a mason's workshop, which means something I can place. I was wrong. Craft store workshop. He picks up a piece of caster die, times two, times three, and he started his construction. Three cassiterite. What are you going to make? A cassiterite scepter with hanging rings of cassiterite? Missing spikes of Kesterite? Maybe... What happened to my music? What? Why did my music stop? Oh well. Maybe a... Chair? You can't make chairs from crash. Who's sparring? That's good, right here. Um... I bet a scepter. I'm just sitting here leaning on my elbows towards the screen, like I'm betting some real money on this. A uh, scepter, crown, possibly a ring. That was quick. Good job, Cory and Tibbs. Tibbs is finally upgraded a bit to a great miner, I believe. Um, he's a master miner now, so that's good. I've struck a micro client. My favorite's blue and ugly. He made a castrate earring of all the things. Congratulations, fun guy. Arcadolet. No? Acrudolek. Let's take a look at that and see what it means. Tin comets. Is castrate tin comets? Tin. Castrate tin. Now, uh, whatever works for you. It's castorite earring, all craftsmanship is of the highest quality, is encrusted with castorite, is adorned with hanging rings of castorite, I called it. On the item is an image of Mosier Mute Sneers, the pterodon, and castorite. Mosier Mute Sneers is laboring. I hope that means working. The artwork, re the, the, the artwork relates to the setting of the pterodon, Mosier Mute Sneers, and the spines of clobbering in 23. God. How does this even work? How 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 can a pterodon labor? Isn't that the flying creature that can pick up cows? I don't know. How's it coming, iron people? Smelters, harden that iron. I know we have a lot of it. No, it's all here. Pure iron, pure iron. Where'd it go? What are you doing? Oh, you're making coke. How much iron bars do I have? Probably passed it somewhere. Bars, 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 bars. Don't dump the cabinets. Uh, bars? I'm getting some lag. There it is. Uh, pure iron, eight. Crap. I need to start mining out some more iron. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode. I am back, I hope. Hopefully I'll record another set after this. 
fun guy just got hurt somehow. Um, oh crap, there's some alien blood up here. Build a floor over that tile. Where'd you get hurt? His lower arm is blistered. Good job, left arm. You're susceptible to disease, too. Oh, fun guy. You create an artifact and then run into some alien blood. Let's see if I can predict some of this hematite here. This is hematite, right? Yeah, hematite's red. Could be magnetite. I don't know. That probably gets some of it. I wanted to use the DF Prospector tool, which just mines out an entire vein, but I decided not to. As much as I would like to, it would make things a lot easier for me, but I'm not. I'm lying, of course. I might do it in the future. I'm just too lazy to go download the program right now. What was that? Ash, okay. I've got some worker orders going, mainly soap, but I have no fat. Ah, good. I'll do this before we leave. Um, I did that wrong again, didn't I? Fill up the room. Assign this to... I think it was Borco. How is it? How do you like your chair? Modest quarters? God. Oh, opulent through. Good, 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 good. I'm a bit excited now. Have your stuff, Borco. I might put another bed in here along with another table set and hand it over to whoever the mayor is. He needs a tomb. And he has modest quarters. Wait, what? Oh, of course. Take it, Borco. Now he just needs his coffin that I made specially for him. Not a cage. As much as that would be hilarious. Uh, in. There we go. I'll build this over by his table. Someone haul it there. I want to get this done. What are you? Protectron? Yes. And some of my iBots have been damaged so much that they can't fly anymore, so instead of zipping around all over the place, they're just crawling around. I'm trying to imagine how that works, if you remember the iBots from Fallout, Fallout 2. I've only seen a few in Fallout 3, but I usually blow them up whenever I do. Okay, good. Use for burial. Make a tomb as big as flippin' possible. Assign this to Bork... Assign this to Borko. And watch as he is happy. So I just needed to make it big. So I might just expand this room all the way out to here. Or set up a spike trap. Is this Borko? No, you're smelting the ore. Tiberius Septum. Okay, and with that I'll call it an episode 18 minutes. I'm not too pleased with that, but it works. It'll it'll work. Before we go, I'm going to set this to engrave. Because I'm distracted easily. Okay, goodbye everybody. Leave me alone.